you know, you say it's not always easy to be a dad or a, a husband, but this coming from a Marine who did three tours, mm -hmm. you said, overseas. I don't know uh, much that could compare to that. So dad life might come with struggles, but my man, you conquered the hard part of life. While you were, I've said it before, I have friends that served. My brother Nathan yeah, I served. Had a pleasure to meet him. Yeah, when he got I, here, uh, I was taking shots at, the, at a bar, and you guys were like taking shots, like yeah. for real. Like yeah. I don't know. I mean, that kind of sets has to set you up to look at life differently. Like you faced real adversity and real struggle. Where like, you know, my biggest <laughs> problem in like my twenties was what time are we going to the bar? You know. So you got to kind of look at life now with a lot of appreciation and thanks, as sure. do I or Pete, but you made it home and uh, can take comfort in that. And I'm sure there were some things over there or some friends that you lost um, and you, you, know, you said you came back and had a journey. I know uh, Nate reaches out to all his fellow Marines that he served with. They fly across the country, find each other, and, and have that support system. And it sounds like your wife provided a huge level of, of support for you when you came home. Yeah, it was more so we were, you know, she was traveling. She was just graduated college, and she was already very successful right away. Um, you know, she was very um, smart, you know, intelligent woman. And she was almost kind of looking for, like, a little bit of fun that summer where she was traveling. She just came out of a relationship, you know, college relationship. And it, I just so happened to know her family, but I didn't know her. And I saw her one day at her aunt's house, and she was, you know, two doors down from where her sister lived. And uh, they all liked, the, the family liked me. And they're like, oh, you know, Mikey would be fun to just hang out with, you know. <laughs> but it was like, then I was like, I really want to hang out with her. You know, I want to, you know. And then we started dating a little bit, and it was basically like she was having fun, good time, but I was too unpredictable. Yeah. You know, I was too, I, I didn't, I wasn't like, it sounds weird, but like civilized almost. You know, I just knew what it was like to be overseas. That's all I. It was hard to adjust to society. You know, it was really challenging. So at that shit time. comparison that I'm going to make, but I have to assume it's similar to coming home from prison. You know, they say guys that come home from prison that do five, ten years, they're institutionalized, and now you have to re have to learn how to relive. How to be like a regular in a free civilian. society, yeah. yeah. So I'm assuming, like Pete said, you had to learn how to be a, a regular civilian. Yeah, it was almost like the uh, like the adrenaline. Like I was going to a lair doing skydiving. Like it was yeah, just looking that. for a feeling. You were chasing something. Chasing, yeah. You know, it was that's kind of what it was like. I just didn't have that adrenaline. Like everything yeah. seemed dull or whatever. And then she, it, towards like the end of that summer, she was basically like, you have to make, you know, if you want to be with me, like you got to just slow down, you know? And it's got like, I wasn't sleeping. It was just a hard adjustment. I think that's pretty common. That's um, common. But then it was trying to figure out what am I going to do? Like with, with life, like what is as interesting as this? And I thought about actually at the time, like there was a couple options, but you know, the police was an option, but I'm like, I didn't trust myself because it's different than what we were doing, and then yeah, I'm sure you can't hard. just be uh, go in, yeah. And then I knew that I had to, I wanted to be successful. I knew I had to finish college, and then also just taking it back a little bit, I wasn't somebody that grew up even knowing about the military. Like I went into the military because I fucked around in high school too much, and then I was doing Brookdale, and Petey knew me at the time. We're like I, I hated school. I hate, but I knew I had to be a productive citizen of society somehow. 